to go. And when he walks into the room, the conversation stops and everybody looks at him. At some stage during the conference, actor Alexis Kammer put in an appearance. In a typical display of eccentricity, Alexis offered to ride the penny farthing to the gathered press, helped by Pat, who had by now changed out of his kosho outfit. Alexis managed to ride for a few yards before inevitably falling off. He was caught by Pat and Jack Champagne, who was also on hand during the launch. I remember having a, uh, a long conversation with Jimmy Miller, I think his name was, who was uh, Pat's dresser and assistant. Um, and uh, the, the old uh, uh, line has it that uh, no man is a hero to his valet, but Pat was very, very much a hero to, to Jimmy, uh, who uh, bored on in the, and, and in the nicest way, because it was so nice to uh, hear somebody so uh, uh, pleased with, the, with his employer. Um, uh, Jimmy Miller went on at enormous length on, uh, on what a marvelous character Pat was, how generous he was, how nice he was, how uh, you know, pleasant to work for, etc., etc. With the conference drawing to a close, Pat changed his clothes one last time of his Western outfit from Living in Harmony, which was due to continue filming shortly. He'd, uh, he'd gone. Uh, we thought uh, we'd seen the last of him. He hadn't said goodbye or anything. Uh, but then he was back again, and he changed this time into Western gear, the full Western outfit with uh, Stetson, um, which I presume was the uh, episode for the episode that he was uh, working on that afternoon. And in fact, he did. Um, enter. He didn't explain the ro why he was wearing this costume. In fact, um, he went round, he said goodbye to everybody. He was uh, uh, exceedingly friendly, amiable, uh, and, uh, and then he was gone. And, uh, and uh, <laughs> that was it.